Hello. Good afternoon. Is that Shirley? Yes. Uh, Jason Curtis speaking from Cape Town, South Africa. Hi, Jason. Sorry, I'm, I'm gobbling up a little piece of bread with hummus on it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, sorry. Yes, I, I hear you. You're, you're doing doing the uh, the the press thing at the moment, aren't you? Mm -hmm. And I'm guilty yeah. of that. So I'm 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 stopping you from having a good meal. No, 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 no. Don't worry. I'm I'm being greedy. I'm just picking up what's left on my lunch tray. <laughs> Don't worry. But um, congratulations. I've had. Uh, the, the privilege of, of only listening to the album, not owning it as yet, but uh, we heard it yesterday for the first time, and uh, yes, congratulations, certainly in order. Thank you. Mm, mm. Good to be back? Um, weird to be back, I suppose, but yes, not too bad. Mm, mm, mm. I think we're sort of excited and terrified at the same time. Why would you be terrified? I think it's just terrifying any time you put something on the line, you know, mm. um, you take a risk, you put it out and, and shove it out in, in the public, and it's, it, it feels scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, I mean, I'm sure, you know, your perceptions as a band is that, uh, is that you've got this great, you know, this great piece of art that you're pushing out there, and to you it makes, you know, it makes perfectly good sense that this is the next step for the band, but uh, will everyone else get it? Um, yeah, something, well... No? <laughs> yes and no. I mean, I don't think... I think we know we've made a good record, mm. um, and but I think we do hope that we can reach an audience. You know, I think that's always your hope, mm. and um, it may well be that you know we've released a record and no one really finds any resonance in it. So mm. um, I, I suppose there's always that risk, and and that that in itself can be devastating because we've put so much of you know effort and time and. Mm. Uh, love into our record mm. so mm. I think well, that's where these feelings of anxiety come from mm, sure but I, I, I doubt very much that's going to happen I can remember I mean uh, when you came out to South Africa uh, to play um, I mean it was uh, I think that Cape Town show was particularly interesting as well when you um, when uh, you had to stop the show because somebody threw something on the stage and um, it, I think that um, and then I was lucky enough to actually sit and have, have dinner with you guys afterwards um, and uh, I just think that you know all of that experience. Um, you know, did did that, did that come into into play when putting this album together? You know, on the back of version two and the phenomenal success um, that you had with that. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think the fact that we toured, you know, for so long mm. and got to travel all over the world and go to places like you say, like Cape Town and, mm. and, uh, ha and find that we had an audience there and was really uh, an incredible experience for us and one that lent, we, we found a certain sense of confidence, you know, mm. from that. Mm. And uh, I do think that helped when, helped our state of mind when we came into recording Beautiful Garbage. I think we, we, we felt really liberated in some ways i think we felt we'd really proved ourselves in the last tour and mm. and we could just enjoy the dynamic we discovered mm. between ourselves and the band and and, and build on that because mm -hmm. you've you, you've almost stepped out of yourselves and you know to certain respects and i mean i and uh, you can shoot me down because i say um only having gone through the album a couple of times but um certainly um you know, happy to, you know, explore territory that, uh, you know, the garbage to this point, you know, hadn't really um, exploited to any degree. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, there was a much more chilled out environment in the studio and uh, there was a much keener sense of playfulness um, and we, we, we felt um, that we it was necessary to explore new territory as a band. Mm. And um, I think we also wanted to make a simpler record. I think we've really, in the past, made records where the production has been in the f very much in the forefront of, of the sound. Mm. And the song has almost been secondary to that. Yeah. And this time around, it, was, it worked in the opposite. We, the song was what was important, and the production was... was we used the technology in the studio um, obviously to augment the songs sure. but certainly never to overwhelm them mm -hmm. because I mean what you know what what what, what seems to you know what, when I first played the album for the first time I thought it it seemed to come off being a bit lighter um, in some respects 
um, from a musical point of view, but but still with um, you know with with those cutting lyrics that uh, you know that are, that you're synonymous with, that the band is synonymous with, that is synonymous with the band. Yeah, yeah. yeah. put my teeth yeah. back in, I'll be fine. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but you you know what I mean. Yeah. Mm, um, because I mean that that I think um, opens opens you up to you know. As you say, I mean, obviously, you you want to grow that you know the audience um, that you have, um, and you know attract new fans. Um, but there's certainly no alienation to those who have been there since day one. I hope not. I hope our fans can really get into the record in the same way that we have. Mm. I mean, I don't know if I would agree with the record being lighter mm. than the previous two. I just think the melodies are stronger, and therefore probably that makes it seem more accessible. Mm. But I think the the same themes run through the record and uh, uh, that have run in the previous two. Mm. It's just we've uh, we've been a little more subversive in the way we've we've uh, presented the themes. Mm. If that makes any sense? You see, now I'm a fan, so you see that's probably my failing. You see, it's because <laughs> because I, <clears throat> I, you know, I've um, I've, I've been uh, listening to you know to the music since the you know since you started. So. Mm-hmm. Um, which, in in some respects, um, you know, when I when I first listened to it, I thought, um, okay, there's certainly something really, you know, t- different here. Um, yet, as you say, I mean, the core of what garbage is about is is definitely still there. Um, but it it took me a couple of listens to to you know understand fully, you know, um, what the substance of it was. Right. Mm, which which I think again is is refreshing because um, I think. The title of the album too is very apt because um, yeah, the album certainly shouts, uh, you know, beauty in a lot of different ways. How, how do how would you summarise that? I don't quite understand the question. <laughs> it's yeah, I, I do that. I tend to rattle on, don't I? Um, <laughs> <clears throat> sorry, no. Um, uh, I mean, obviously, a, a title of an album is always a, you know, something interesting for a band to sort of try and come up with something that. That works yeah. and 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 does epitomise the album. Um, how does beautiful uh, garbage epitomise the album for you? Um, I think in some ways, uh, it's just we we loved the word play. We felt it was um, uh, we, it's an oxymoron, obviously, and I think we like the contradictory nature of the of that word play. Mm. Um, I think because we feel. In some ways, that that's what we do musically is is we play around with the perception of melody versus um, depth, mm. and uh, I think we feel that you can have something that's more subversive, that is is melodically you you know enveloping and and beautiful. I think you can deal with nasty things in the world in a beautiful manner. Mm. It doesn't all have to be just about, you know, primal screaming. It can mm. be clothed in a beautiful melody or a, a wonderful um, a wonderful atmosphere or a, a landscape, musical landscape. Mm, mm, mm. And I mean, this is an album that you could have well, you could have done anything really um, you know, as a third album. Um, you know, you could have taken it to a lot of different places. Um, mm-hmm. But you've it's almost as if you've plotted and tried it. I mean, as you have tried new things. Um, but what, you know, what, was there any thinking behind, you know, how how you would test yourselves, or you know, what sort of styles of music that you would sort of um, get into, or or try and include that into the garbage sound for this album? I don't think it's ever been that conscious. I just think mm. we we you know your your aesthetic is. is defined by what you listen to, what you like, what you don't like at times. Your mm. aesthetic can be as defined by things you find repugnant mm. as they are, as it is by things you find amazing. Mm. Um, I think uh, we just try and find sounds that really work to augment, you know, the song. Mm. And I don't think we've got any hang-ups about using influences from other genres if need be. I mm. think we're kind of open-minded in that respect. We listen to a lot of different type of mu- different types of music mm. and therefore our, our, our tastes are very varied. I mean, does, does, does that come back to sort of the confidence that you feel now that perhaps in the past you wouldn't have, you know, you wouldn't have tried that and you were sort of 
perhaps trying harder to sort of say, well, look, we're garbage and this is what we do and we're, we, we are different from everything else that's out there. Whereas now it's a case of we know that we are different, that we are unique. and um, Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I think it's just coming from a place of self-acceptance and confidence. Because I think you're right. I think we realised on the first record we didn't, we weren't really like anybody else, and, and we felt a little probably sort of inadequate because mm. we didn't fit into any particular genre in an easy way. Mm. And now we realise that this is a great thing mm. to, to be unique for people to switch on the radio and us have our own identity and be able to immediately tell a garbage song from someone else. Mm. I think we realise there's so many bands out there that sound they could be anybody. They're homogenised. They're interchangeable mm. and I think we realise we have something unique and, and we've come to really be proud of that mm, mm. and I mean I think as a band as well I think every every band aspires to to become as great as, as you possibly can become um, you've become very successful you've worked incredibly hard at it uh, to get where you've got gotten to I'd, is, it a, is it a nice place to be um, in the sense that you that you are successful, that you don't look at it now going, oh, I don't, you know, um, uh, this isn't what I, you know, what I planned, uh, you know, as much as it's, it, it can be a, a wonderful thing. Um, is it is it all wonderful or, or is it tough? Um, it's like anything. You can't have anything wonderful in life without a little hardship along the way. I mean, um, but yeah, I think we feel really privileged, really lucky. It was certainly never part of our master plan, you know. Mm. We never had for a mo- we never thought for a moment that we would enjoy this kind of success. Mm. Um, the good thing about the band in general, I think, is that we never have taken it for granted. Never have, never will. Mm. And we always feel that with each new record, it's a new beginning for the band. We don't sit back and say, "Oh, well, we've had this great success, mm. therefore we're going to have a huge audience for our new record." I think we take each step at a time, and 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 each new record is a is a new beginning. Mm. And uh, uh, that makes the whole process really exciting for us and keeps things really vital. Mm, mm, mm. And I think your the passion that you share, I think, as a band, and not to say that you're precious about the band, but you're very serious about what you do, and you're very serious about you know the players and and each other. I mean, you know that you care, you know, about your fans, but you care about the collective that is garbage um, mm-hmm. very passionately, and no one at any point should mess with that. Mm-hmm. Um, do you do you agree? Well, yeah, I think that's absolutely how we feel. I mean, we feel like this is our family, you know, in mm. some ways. I think also we're sort of tired of the... I think these are post-cynical, post-ironic times. You know? yeah. I think we're really sick of of that kind of, oh, we're so cool, we don't care type of ideology. I mean, you know what? We're not cool, we do care. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, that comes from being... from remaining humble in the, in the face of... You know, I mean, you could become a you could become a monster if you wanted to. You know, um, because you know your place affords you that, but yet you choose not to. You know. Well, I don't even know if it's we choose not to. It's just that we don't allow each other to become too uh, charged by the the trappings of success. You know, mm-hmm. I think we're really able to sort the the shit from the bull, mm. in a way. I don't mm. think, I think we're really able to see what, I, d- I don't know whether it's just, you know, where we come from geographically or whether mm. it's just who we are as people or the combination of people in the band, but I think everyone keeps a sort of show, a hand on each other's shoulder it, to make sure that nobody gets a little beyond themselves. Mm. So mm. I think we have to keep reminding ourselves of how lucky we are Mm. When we find ourselves moaning about the size of a hotel room or mm. the, the the speed of room service, it's like, hold on a minute, mm. have a word with yourself, you know. <laughs> Four years ago, you couldn't have even afforded to have one night in the YMCA, so shut your face and yeah. get on with it. Mm, mm, mm. And this album as well, I mean, lyrically, um, it's... Um, I, 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 I'm, well, I'm battling to find the words, but you have this knack, and I think it's it's your vocal delivery as well as the lyrics themselves. Um, I think they touch um, so many of the you know of your fans that you know that listen to your music, um, and you you know you can't help but think these are situations that you sing about that you've actually been through. You know, and you and there's very few artists um, that you know that I'm aware of that I will certainly with me as a as a fan of music that that 
you, the lyrics are able to sort of touch um, the person listening to them in the way that your lyrics do. Um, and I don't know what that is, and you probably don't know what that is either, eh? No, I, I, I don't really... I mean, I hope that's what the lyrics... I hope my words can touch people. I think that's always, you know, the dream of a writer is that you can articulate something for someone else, mm. you know, who may be looking for that artic articulation in music, but mm. I certainly don't think we ever assume that that's what we do. But to hear, you know, when somebody comes up and says, you know, I listened to your song and, and it helped me through a really hard time, through the death of a parent, through the breakup of a marriage, or, mm. you know... Um, it helped me when I was suffering from bulimia. Mm. Uh, that's an amazing feeling. I mm. mean, I, I'd love to be cynical about it, but mm. I can't be. It's just the most incredible moment, you know, mm. to, to feel that you've participated in a, somebody's life mm. in a positive fashion. Mm. It's, it's wonderful. Mm. And, I mean, it's, it's not an easy thing to do. I, I, I mean, and, again, I sort of go back to, you know, um, and, I mean, I could be completely wrong, but the... the 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 sense of honesty that you that that seems to ooze from each of the albums that um, that people buy into it because it doesn't it doesn't come across as being contrived it's not just another pop rock album that's out there um, it has depth it's got you know it's got layers to it um, and and each layer will touch a, a, you know every every listener in a in a very different and, a, and in a very unique way which is yeah. difficult. Yeah, well, I hope so. Mm. Thank you. You've been awfully nice. No, but it's true, you see. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> because um, no, no, I mean, and it's. It, I think you know, as as a band, to be able to offer something new um, in a, you know, in, in in the state of music today, which um, you know has so, so there's so much going on, and there's so many different styles, and you know, um, and not to you know tap into any single one, but to be able to deliver something that that touches on, it's almost like a snapshot of, you know, out of time. Um, oh, I like that. Mm, um, and, you know, I do, I see this as, it's sort of like the world book, you know, volume three, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know and there's another 26 to come, I hope. I hope so too. Put, make sure you put that in your piece. I will. <laughs> put all your quotes in. <laughs> you put it much more eloquently than I. No, but then you do that on record, you see. So, <laughs> and that's for prosperity. Well, pros oh, prosperity. Well. But um, well, Jason, I'm getting the finger to to wrap up on this one. Yes, thank you. I don't, I don't know if if you have anything else you want to ask, but I've got three minutes. Apparently, they're saying three minutes is good. I'll ask you one more question, and then you can oh, have a right. have another nibble on your lunch. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mustard. <laughs> <laughs> plans for uh, for the year besides the obvious. Um, what coming are they? In, I hope we're coming back to South Africa. I, I I'm not. I'm. I know that you'll probably think I'm just greasing you up because I'm talking to you right now. That's but okay. Coming to South Africa was one of the highlights of our tour. Mm. I blew my mind. Mm. Absolutely, it was a very moving and profound experience for me, and I felt so privileged to be invited to your country and and uh, you know get to experience the culture mm. albeit for, for a short time only but nevertheless it was something I'll never forget for the rest of my life mm. and uh, I know the whole band feels the same way and we're definitely coming back Good. Um, if not at the end of this year um, definitely very early on in the new year of next mm. Mm -hmm. well I think so come and see us well most definitely without a doubt I'll definitely be there but thank you Shirley for your time it's been a pleasure you too, Jason. Thanks so much. And good luck with it. Not that you need it. And um, yes, all the very best. Thanks, Chief. Thanks. Bye. Bye.